Jessica, you know what this is right here? This is a sleep gun. When they shoot people with it, they fall into a deep, deep sleep. Okay? I just gave that man $100 to buy two buckets. I know. We we're hey, we're, we're, we're going to rock. But you know what? You're so like, pretty. You probably need, like, you can, how many could you get with that $100? With this, you get a half a beer. <laughs> no, it's a hundred dollar bill. No, it's a hundred dollar bill. You can get like a beer. Well, it's like ten dollar bucket. So, like, you get three bucks. Not after nine. Just you can you buy me on your own? Yeah, because I have a hundred dollar bill. Jessica, this is a sleep gun. You are so pretty, I'm not going to shoot you with a sleep gun. Thank you. I want you to have the gun. I want you to have the sleep gun. You have the gun, okay? You got it? Now, what we're going to do, you're not going to shoot yourself. You are not going to shoot yourself, you are not gonna shoot yourself but you're going to shoot that Kentucky Wildcat sign. It's going to bounce off that, bounce off that TV, and come back and hit you. You think it'll do that? All right, let's give it a shot. All right, let's get it. Take a shot. Aim it. Aim it at that Kentucky sign. No, I'll take no, Here, hold on. Wait, wait, that's how, that's yep. how it works. I, I gave you a boomerang bullet. That's not how it works. So it's going to hit I that. I think you need a lesson on how that I know, you're right. But it's going to hit that wall, bounce off that TV, and it's going to hit you right here. Okay. You believe it will? Yeah. Give it a shot. Uh, uh, stuck like glue. Stuck like glue. Stuck like glue. Any, anything else? Anything else you want to see do? Yeah. Amy, just is your friend. I don't know. <coughs> do something I something you. you can have a good Okay. Who is her favorite country star? Clint Black. Clint Black. Clint Black. Let's lose Clint Black. Jessica, on the count of three, I want you to open your eyes wide awake, and you're not going to believe for one minute that you're hypnotized and don't think I'm full of shit, but you love me because I'm a very, very beautiful man. You cannot think about another man as gorgeous as I am, but you're still not going to think that you're hypnotized. One, two, three. Wide awake. <laughs> Are you doing okay? You doing okay? Yeah, Are you hitting the time? No. Why not? Because you couldn't make it work. I tried. I really did try. Why do you think that you're not hitting the Why are you looking at me? Right now? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. I like big men. Oh, you like big men, so you're calling me fat. No, I like big men. Oh, oh muscle, muscle, muscle guy. guy. You like that. Right, right. Like, make, can you make it really sounds like the rock? No, I can't. Can you? No. Can you do that? No, can't do that. But you're not hypnotized. You, you, I did. <laughs> not for one minute you don't believe no, that you're hypnotized. Really? Who's your favorite country star? Clint Black. Really? Sleep? In a moment, I'm going to count to three. You're going to, you're going to look at me like I'm the most beautiful man you've ever seen. However, you're going to get really, really excited because you're going to see a guy with a hat on sitting at the bar, and it will be the country star Clint Black. 
You're going to walk over to him. You're going to ask him for your his autograph. You are going to rub on him. Oh, my God. It was like Elvis just walked in this bar. Clint Black is the guy that's sitting at the bar with a hat on. One, two, three. Why do we... Hi, honey. Hi. Everything okay? Yes. What? Why? Why? Why am I freaking out? Later on the bar and shit. Fucking shit. Don't you see this? I know. Thank you. Anyone can take your picture? Yes. I guess I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Hang on. Okay. Get real close. Okay. I'm not even nervous at all. I'm not even nervous at all. Ready? Yes. Are you? One, are you two, three. Huh? Are you Got it. Do I, I think you have to watch it. Do I know her? No. You don't know her that way. First night. You really know this guy. I know Gary. I know, but I just switched out the whole lot. Where are you? Well, what would make you understand? What would make you believe it? I don't know. Are you a big fan? Yeah, I'm not going to be That's what, Gary, that's my thing about that. Oh, it is cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I'm just awesome. Oh, wait. Oh, let me get a card. Thank you. Are you a lefty like me? No. That's not very good. That's not very good. Since we can't do it. Yeah, he can do it. <laughs> that looks exactly like the signature. That's well, it should be. It's mine. <laughs> this is nice me. You signed my baby. You signed my baby. You already signed my baby. Where? Where's your baby? Okay, good. We got to leave Clem alone for a minute. Let's no, go. I don't want to no, we have to sit. Oh, I don't want to sit. Oh, I don't want to sit. Oh, I don't want to sit. Three, I want you to sit wide awake. You're going to sit back in the chair. Three, wide awake. Okay. Sit back down in the chair. Now, I have a question for you, Jessica. Is there anything that happened to you as a child when you were like, say, five, six, seven years old? Anything that you don't want to reveal? Anything at all? Nothing, nothing major happened in your life? Are you okay with that? Yeah. I would have been bad. Deeper and deeper. Watch it. In a moment, Jessica, we are going to go back in time. I just can't. I just put it reverse. In a piece of paper. In a moment, Jessica, we are going to go back in time. Back to when, let's say you were in kindergarten, say five, six years old. Yes. Shake your head if you have a friend. We'll count down from 10 to 1. If you get down to number 1, you're going to be back for 5, 6, 7 years old, back in kindergarten. 10, 9, feel yourself going backwards in time. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You are now 5, 6, 7 years old in kindergarten. 1, 2, 3, wide awake. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? How are you? What is your name? Jessica. And what, what grade are you? I'm in Do you remember your teacher's name? Mm, no. your, close your eyes and picture her face. Close your eyes. I think we were in a trailer. It was, it was way out there. But you don't remember your teacher's name? Do you remember Sager? Okay. Close your eyes and picture her. Close your eyes, picture. Close your eyes, picture her face. <coughs> picture her face. As soon as her face comes into your mind, you're going to remember who that is. You see her? What's her name? Great. Who's sitting in front of you? Who's sitting behind you? I don't remember. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Picture the face. As soon as his face comes in, their face pops in your head, you're going to remember their name. Craig Hammond. Craig Hammond. Did they teach you how to write yet? Go ahead and open your eyes. Did they teach you how to write, you, write your name? Yep. 
Can you write your name for me on this piece of paper? If you notice, guys, she's right to like she's in her third grade. Okay. And you put a K in a kindergarten. Right. That's my name. That's your name? That's really, really, really cool. It's called time regression. This is what police officers use to how old are you, by the way? Six. You're six years old. Do you remember where you live? Yes. Yeah. Where do you live? I live in Dry Ridge. Do you know your, your address? Yes. Yeah. It's 207 Chani Run Road. Do you remember your phone number? Yes. Yeah. What is it? It's 859 Is that where she used to live? Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. She doesn't live there anymore now. No, right? and that's her, that now was her friend. She wrote her name as if she was in kindergarten. On the count of three, Jessica, I'm going to bring you back wide awake. You're going to feel refreshed. You're going to feel better than you've ever felt before. <clears throat> Still responding to the sound of my voice. One, two, three. One. How are you doing? Good. Will you do me better? Yes, sir. Write your name right there on this, please. Now, if you notice, okay. how she wrote her name. You never met this guy, David. Right? No, we just met tonight. This is how she writes her name. This is how she wrote her name when she was in kindergarten. If you would go back in time and look at something that she had saved from kindergarten and gave to her mother or something like that, you would see that it is exactly the same. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. You want to really cool? I know. Want you want to something really cool? So I wasn't there when you ever so you, that you, you may not believe this, but watch this. Sleep. Deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper. In a moment, Jessica, I'm going to count up from one to five. When you wake up, you are going to be an Italian physicist with a very strong Italian <laughs> accent. You have just realized that there are Martians on Mars. You're going to be so excited of the fact that they have found Martians on Mars that you want to stand up and you want to tell everyone about these Martians that you found on Mars. You actually speak Martian. You, and when I count up from one to five, you are a, an Italian physicist that just found out that there are Martians on Mars. One, two, three, wide awake. Hello, Jessica. Hello. Thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Did you discover something? Dark TV gives you more What? I'm sorry? Atika. You are quitting cable. Do you speak English? Atika, no. 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 Sleep. Deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper. You also speak Martian, but you also speak English. And you're going to describe to us in English about what you've discovered on Mars. And in your discussion about what you found on Mars, you're going to speak Martian to everyone here, telling them how much you love them. Shake your head if you understand. <coughs> One, two, three. Why do we? Hi, Jessica. How are you? You doing okay? How are you? What do you do for a living? You're an Italian physicist. What did you discover? Really? Yes. How many? Oh. <laughs> How many did you find? How many? So many. Would you like to stand up and tell us all about it? No. It's so scary. Really? Oh, That is amazing. Clap your hands, guys. That is amazing. <laughs> Really? I get 
Look at your finger. Look at your look at your finger. Look at your finger. Watch it go to your forehead. The minute it touches your forehead, you're gonna fall back into a deep sleep. Watch it. It's gonna get right to your forehead. You're gonna fall into a deep, deep, deep sleep. Jessica, you've been absolutely positively wonderful. One more thing. When you wake up, I'm going to wake you up on the count of three. I am going to be the most incredible looking man you have ever seen in your life. You are going to be so so one, two, three, wide awake. Hey, baby. You want a beer? Hi, Mama. I love a beer. I have to potty. You do? You have to go to the bathroom? I do. Really? <laughs> What's your name? Huh? Peanuts, man? Yeah. <laughs> where, do you, where, do you, where do you live? I, I cannot share that information. Well, what town do you live in? I live in Hebron. Hebron? Oh, my God, I love it. I used Are to go you there a all the time. I am. I used to go to Hebron all the time, but I don't go much anymore because I have no place to yeah. stay. There's a hotel up the road. Oh, there is a hotel up there? You are so nice looking. Oh, thank you. I like the bed and people. Do you like that? Do you like that kind of stuff? Yes. Yeah. On the count of three, when you wake up, I am going to be the most hideous man you've ever seen in your life. I'm the most disgusting man that you've ever seen in your life. But the minute I touch my forehead, you are going to fall back into a deep, deep sleep. One, two, three. Why do I put So you live in Hebron. Hey. Uh, excuse me, you don't want to talk to me? Tell her, tell her look at me. We're going to count out from one to five. When we get to number five, you're going to be completely wide awake. All of the suggestions are completely removed out of your mind. You are not going to remember any of this. You're going to be refreshed. You're going to be so, you're going to feel so happy, so relieved. One, feel your body being just so happy. The greatest feeling you ever felt in your life. Two, as you become wide awake. Three, so refreshed, so exciting. You've had the best time of your life. Four, it's just an incredible night. You're so happy that you met me. From now on, from, from, from this point forward, your days are going to be absolutely fantastic. You're going to be the happiest woman. Five, wide awake. What are you so giggly for?